Hi everyone, so I just want to share with you about my Kundalini journey. I just discovered something that Kundalini is a part of a bigger process. So, and uh, everybody has their karma and their life mission, and I'm still figuring out what I'm supposed to do. I guess I'm here to share my journey of discovering the spiritual aspect of our lives. It's not just religion or anything like that. It's so much more than worshipping and becoming one with the universe. It's so much more than that. Each individual, they have their purpose in life and Kundalini helps so um, about 10 years ago I decided to like really concentrate on the spiritual aspect and for two years I was like a sannyasin. I completely let go of everything. I was in my room meditating every day. Every day I would meditate for 10 to 15 hours and I've seen a lot of things, a lot of things portals to other dimensions opening up and, and such but this time it's more like I'm heading towards a, um, a sense of surrender complete surrender surrendering to the universe I just let the universe take over me instead of me taking over my life because it just doesn't work that way the world has become so materialistic, so superficial. Everything is at face value. I've been subjected to discrimination based on that. But I'm glad it happened that way for me because it's already in my birth chart. All these experiences of discrimination helped me to detach. And it's so easy to detach and not be attached to the material world for me. In my case, it just gets easier and easier. I'm so glad all these things are happening and happened to me in the past. So basically, my journey of uh, assimilating with the Kundalini power begins with the Beach Mantra. I got in touch with a guru and he analyzed my astrological birth chart. And from there, he gave me the Beach Mantra for me to recite every day. And after that, I would be starting with Bala Mantra. So Beach Mantra is based on individual chart. So it's different for each and every one. You have to find a guru to uh, analyze a chart. And um, if I'm not mistaken, manblunder.com, Santosh uh, Guru, he gave me the Beach Mantra. I'm so thankful for him for his help. I will link down um, several of the websites that you, if you guys are interested that you can refer to them. So if the beach mantra is suitable or not, I have to refer to the guru that uh, who passed me the beach mantra. And then after that, I'll start with the Bala mantra as I've mentioned. Bala mantra basically is the child, the divine child of the Tripura Sundari. And the mantra goes like Om I'm Klim So So Klim I'm Om. Uh, there's several. The Bala mantra corresponds to your second chakra, the Swadhisthana chakra. So basically, um, you have the Muladhara chakra, and then the Kundalini uh, residing after that. She is sleeping between these two chakras, the Muladhara and the Swadhisthana. So when you start the engine, when you're doing the meditation, the Swadhisthana is the one that actually brings the Kundalini forth. So if your Swadhisthana is weak and it's, it has a lot of karma, diseases around it, you need to cleanse it. You have to purify it. So Bala Mantra helps with that. It helps to energize the Swadhisthana Mantra. So a lot of people I read online, a lot of people went through uh, uh, some bad episode when they were doing the Bala Mantra. That is because of the karma related to their Swadhisthana Chakra, the second chakra. So it's a cleansing period after that. 
so after bala mantra has prepared for you for the next stage after it has cleansed your swadhisthana chakra removed all the problems in your lives and whatever issues karmic issues then you move on to the mahasudashi mantra and then uh, lalita sahasranama so all these uh, mantras will help to realize your kundalini energies and the chakras when you are doing this medita- uh, meditation the kundalini meditation so basically all these mantras um it's it's like feeding information to the kundalini and then based on your chart your astrological chart or based on your karmic evolution you will realize what you're supposed to do on this planet what you individually is supposed to do so i'm really looking forward for this i'm so glad i found some i found a guru to help me out with that um and uh yeah so i hope you guys stay with me on this journey and we can share together whatever that's happening uh, whatever experiences we can share together so leave down some comments below if you would like to ask me anything or share anything don't forget to subscribe and like this video okay